Hey, yeah. Uh, so today I'm going to show you a few useful string methods you may be interested in as a beginner using Java. In this demonstration, let's create a variable of name. The data type is going to be a string. Type in your full name, including a space. I'll just use my YouTube channel name. If at any time you need the length of a string, you can use the length method. I'll store that as an integer. int length equals to access these string methods, you need a string or a variable that is a string, dot. Then we have one of a few methods. If you need the length, you can use the length method. And then let's print it. Print the length. How many characters are in the string? Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This could be useful. Let's say somebody is setting a password and you have a maximum size of 12 characters. Well, you can check the length to see if it's under 12 characters. So that is the length method. There's char at. That will give you the character at a specified index. We'll be given a single character. We'll store that as a variable. Char letter equals take our string of name. Use the char at method. Within the char at method, we'll list an index. Zero is the index of the first character because computers like to start at zero. What is the character at index zero? Well, that letter is B. At index one, that would be R, and two would be O. That is the char at method. It returns a character at a given index within a string. We also have the capability of finding a letter at a given index. Let's say we have a variable of index. Take our name, use the index of method, find the first occurrence of an O. So in my example, that should be two, zero, one, two. That is the first index of this character, O. What about a space? Well, that would be three, zero, one, two, three. There's also last index. Last index equals take our string of name, then use the last index of method. What is the last index of an O? Because index of gives you the first index. Last gives you, well, the last one. What is the last index of O? Where is it exactly? Five. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. We can take a string and make all the characters uppercase. I'll reassign that to our name variable. So we're going to take our name, use the to uppercase method, then print our name after reassigning it. Now all the letters are uppercase. There's also two lowercase. We'll replace upper with lower. And I should probably turn this into a comment. Now all the characters are lowercase. We can trim any white space before and after a string. Let's add a few spaces before and after. Then print the name. We can eliminate all this white space. We'll use the trim method for that. We'll reassign name equals name and use the trim method. Now while that white space is gone, we can replace a character with another one. Name equals name. We will replace one character with another. Let's replace any O's with A's. For your own name, feel free to change these. So what is my name now? Brocade. There are methods that return boolean values. To check to see if a string is empty, you can use the isEmpty method. This would return a boolean. To demonstrate, I'm going to put this within a print statement. So, my string is not empty. That's false. But if it was, it would return true. But I have to turn these lines into comments. That would return true. My name is empty. This could be useful within an if statement. 
if name dot is empty method. If our name is empty, we will print your name is empty. Else we will print hello plus name. Currently, my name is empty. Your name is empty. This method returns true. But if it wasn't, it would return false. Hello, whatever your name is. I'll use a multi-line comment just to comment all this out. We can check to see if our string contains a character. That would return a boolean. Let's check to see if our name contains any spaces. If that's true, your name contains a space. Else, we'll print your name doesn't contain any spaces. So my name does contain a space. That would return true. Your name contains a space. If we're working with, let's say, a username, usernames typically don't contain spaces. Your name doesn't contain any spaces. There is a method to check to see if two strings are equal. Again, I'm going to use a multi-line comment just to comment this out. If our name equals Using the equals method, we can check to see if two strings are equal, the given characters within them. Let's see if our name equals password. This actually would be more appropriate if we were working with a string named password. If our name, if the string of name is equal to this string, if they have the same characters exactly, then we'll print your name can't be password. Else we will print hello plus name. I will set my name to be password. Your name can't be password, but if it wasn't, well then this returns false. These two strings are not equal and we execute the else statement. Hello, your name. Now, the equals method doesn't account for case sensitivity. So let's say our password has a capital P. Well then, this method returns false. Hello, password. To ignore case sensitivity, you can use equals ignore case. Then that would return true. Your name can't be password. Alright everybody, those are a few useful string methods you may be interested in as a beginner using Java.